Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy Sunday evening, everyone. Hope you were able to enjoy the sunshine and the warmest day of your eight day forecast. Temperatures got into the mid 60s in some areas, 64 in Hollister. The sensor not quite working in Santa Cruz, but we recorded 64 there. Lots of upper 50s and 60s sunshine. A little bit of a breeze, though. You notice that if you are outside here, we can still see winds coming in from the north, primarily anywhere from about five to 15 miles per hour. Winds are going to die down a little bit tonight, but with each storm system that comes this week, we're going to hold on to very breezy conditions. So we are going to be seeing some wet weather potential, which is great news, but also wind sticking with us. So we could be leading to some trees down, things like that typical storm weather, which we, you know, it's about time. It is winter after all. It's the end of February and we've been seeing very warm conditions today, a little warmer than yesterday, but we're going to see these temperatures dropping off over the next couple of days. Right now, four degrees warmer than we were yesterday, but now we're going to see those temperatures dropping off. Now, temperatures right now we are seeing in the 50 degree range, some mid 50s, low 50s, overall looking at quiet weather for this evening. And we are going to be seeing some of this rainfall coming in by later tonight. Here you can see wet weather up towards the north, northern California, seeing a little bit of that. You see the green that's showing rainfall and then the white and blue shades. That's the snowfall potential that we're going to be seeing moving into the Sierra Nevada, which is great news. We sure do need this snowpack. It looks like we'll have multiple chances in the next week. Here's the front that comes through. It's going to bring some rainfall. We're not talking about really impressive totals across the area, but we are going to be seeing some nice shared rainfall. So everyone looks like you're going to get some. The question is just how much. Then we catch a little bit of a break on your Tuesday, Wednesday. Here you can see that getting a little break, but still cool. And then we start to watch the next system coming our way. Here it is. You can see that coming up well towards the north on Wednesday. And then it is Thursday, Friday that we're going to start to see more rain chances coming your way, more snow chances as well as it's still going to be a cool system. Here's your future cast showing blue shades. So all of that is under an inch of rainfall. So I'm thinking really about a tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch in some areas. If you're lucky, higher elevations have a slightly higher chance of that. Also could be seeing some snowfall and you do notice the little green up in the Sierra. That's where they could pick up some significant snow and that is going to lead to some issues on the roads up in the Sierra Nevada. Here you can see our future cast showing that snow potential. Any of that pink is showing over 10 inches possible, so we could be seeing up to a foot. Now, of course, this is one forecast model, and look at this. It's showing some snow on Mount Hamilton, the Santa Lucia, some of our higher elevations over about 2,500 feet could be seeing that. And look at that, really looking nice, extending all the way down. Now, Squaw Valley, Sonora, those areas are around 16, 1,800 feet, and so they may not see as much snow, but any snow we'll take. There is an advisory up in those areas though. As for us, what we're going to be seeing is maybe some of that snow on the highest tops, but light rain beginning late tonight. And then we start to see that clearing out of here by Tuesday. Here are your temperatures for this evening. It is going to be a cool one, not as cold as what we've had though. Guys, the W8 day forecast showing that cool down. You can see maybe Wednesday a little warmer before the next system comes, but it's going to be a chilly one. And then next weekend looks quite nice. I don't know if, if you're trying to get up to the snow, maybe that would be your best chance this upcoming weekend where it looks like the rain and snow will clear out of here and we'll finally have decent snowpack. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything holds together. This will be one of your last chances to get some fresh powder too, right? Yeah, I mean, who knows? It's California. You, sometimes we get those good storms in March, but you know, then it gets icy. And so yeah, I'd say next weekend looks good. Okay, cool. Thanks, mm -hmm. Gina.